quarter second 100 years of revolutions. So as the more motorcycling has changed, the more it has stayed the same. Technology has introduced unprecedented function, convenience, and reliability to modern motorcycles. Each decade has brought with it yet another engineering revolution. Still, the core concept of a straddled two-wheeled vehicle fitted with handlebars and a motor has persevered. The simple design had just as much potential to bring joy to a rider in the 1900s as it does today. The timelessness of the love of riding is represented in this exhibit celebrating motorcycling since the first decade of the 20th century. Inspired by the collections of the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame and the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Famers who shaped motorcycling in America, these words, images, and motorcycles tell the story of the history and progression of our sport. Let's take a look. Nineteen hundreds. Really early. Nineteen oh four Indian single. Pretty much what you find today, just strapping a little motor onto a bicycle. Real popular around where I live where everyone gets DUIs and loses their license. They are all over the place. Moving on to 1914 Triumph TT Roadster. Still pretty much a bicycle. Little stretched frame. We're getting more away though, but fundamentally a bicycle, complete with honker horn. <laughs> Very cool. Moving on to a 1924 Ace. Now much more what we think of as a motorcycle frame. Still definitely see the bicycle roots though. Seems to go from the center out to more from a bicycle to a motorcycle. Got the big old beach bars. Reminds me of a Huffy. Starting to finally see some uh, suspension. Much beefier motors. These are all in 10 year increments if you haven't guessed. Now up to a, or thereabouts, a 1930 Harley Davidson hill climber. Made for competition. Definitely got used. <laughs> very industrial, very function over form on this guy. Springer front end. Still with the beach handlebars and a more traditional drop over tank. And the early V-twin. Just a dump out exhaust. Pretty cool. Moving on to 1940 Triumph Tiger 100. Now we are really getting towards traditional motorcycle design. Still looks like a bicycle at the extreme zone. But the middle is definitely taking on your motorcycle forms. So now we're into World War II. Definitely spreads from the middle. And then a 1956 BMW R67-3, post-war. Really hard tanks. Very sleek, streamlined look. Extremely well engineered. Really shaft drive. Look at that. It's like a piston. And the infamous Boxer engine. It's way back when. Still in use today. Coming into more modern times. 1963 BSA Gold Star and we have left the realm of bicycles far behind now. Very much motorcycle through and through. It's amazing how this design now going on 70, no not 70, 50 years old, 50, 60 years old. This design is still modern today. Big old single cylinder. 
very modern for the day. I'm doing a 1974, my birth year, Yamaha YZ250. Now we get into more fun. Now we get into off-roading and family motorcycling and sport, not just utility. Big, robust single cylinder, huge suspension travel. Again, very modern looking design, even by today's standards. In 1981, Harley Davidson Sturgis. Not the best years of Harley Davidson, but hey, it's history. Got to take the bad with the good. Got your very classic look. Really hasn't changed in all these years for Harley. Basic equipment, kickstart. 80 cubic inch, which is still very relevant in today's Harley engines, unfortunately. They really need an engine overhaul for power, in my opinion. 1996 Suzuki GSXR 750. Now we get into modern sport bikes. And again, really keeping up with the times. This is obviously a cutaway model. You can see cups through the engine and the fuel tank. Airbox. Airbox is in the upper right, fuel upper left, engine bottom center. Now we're into the realm of racing, MotoGP style. Bringing that to the streets. We have a 2005 KTM Adventure. Imported adventure bikes starting to really become relevant. Lots of manufacturers trying to play catch up to the BMW RS series. KTM is also a very much an industry leader. And finishing off, this year's 2014 Zero S. The age of the electric bike coming in. Much, much smaller. Smaller wheels, smaller frame, lighter. Everything is, everything is geared around power conservation. Because right now, in 2014, battery technology still sucks. Absolutely terrible. No direct competition yet, but maybe in a few years, battery technology simply has to keep evolving. But you can look at the wheel size difference here. Wow. Noticeably small bikes, all the electrics. There you go. There's the 120 years of revolutions.